Hey guys, Bolt here. So we're doing a quick one because I do want to get into a Nancy Drew and a uh, or on Bolt. I need to get a uh, let's see. I need to get Spyro done. Anyways, uh, so we're going over Gooby. To summarize, basically, he is an Amanda the Adventurer based horror, so it's like an analog, and it's actually on YouTube as a channel, but it's like a yellow puppet creature that kind of reminds you of like Sesame Street, and he goes through the motions of teaching you shapes, letters, and all that. Um, but every single time a new video comes out, it come it com becomes more distorted, more creepy. There's more lore and stuff behind it. But as a whole, which is the whole reason why it's very quick, because there's only like a few videos at this point. But they're also a part of a bigger mystery. So it looks like whom, uh, whenever a kid is by themselves. And they uh, are highly invested into Gooby, and they trust him. He kind of lures them into a false sense of security, and like nabs them. And uh, I think by the time we're we're at six kids reported missing, um, and I couldn't catch all of them, um, all the names, anyways. But uh. We'd hear from the kids every now and again, and basically, I think some of the either the younger ones or some of the newer ones, they imagine them be themselves being in a meadow. But the people that are either older or have been there longer are like, "This is some other like realm and completely, and it's not at all like it's nothing nice to look at." Um. And here comes the scary part is that Gooby is an actual deity, like not a deity, an entity or a demon that requires a new food source, basically. And it reveals that basically he sees humans as pets. And he also sees us as like livestock. Like he compared us to cows and pigs before. But there's a few parts in it where it's like, hey, there's these parts of body like uh, nails, teeth. He really likes teeth, so that might be a dessert. But it's revealed that he eats a lot of stuff that's regeneratingable, like pieces of skin. If you know, you get a child like he's been getting, the teeth are, like, once you get a few of them, one will eventually come out. So, he's got, like, a resupply, as long as he gets kids. So, basically, he would take these kids and just slowly take pieces of them to kind of feed himself. And we learn that this is not the first time that this has occurred, and this may have been happening for decades, centuries, and you start thinking, what if this was something that was just, it's, this has to be a demon or some kind of creature, because um, as things in news evolve, this guy would evolve and get new tactics, and now that there's this family friendly show over the internet it is the most widespread easy to get kids kind of thing but so basically Gooby is a show that's supposed to be a learning show but behind it is a creature who takes some of the kids to use as food sources and he uses them because they are the quickest to heal they have the most parts like teeth to repair or, or get new ones, and uh, he at, he puts beneath him like a cattle 
livestock or even pets. Um, and these kids, I think, like, in the beginning, he, like, puts them in that meadow idea to kind of, like, avoid the reality of what's happening to them. And then once they've been there a while, they start waking up and figuring out what, well, they start realizing what's actually happening. Um, and there's a theory right now that there's actually another, like, human alongside Gooby that, like, uh, or, like, it might have been, like, a kid that grew up and survived. But it sounds like there's a grown man that's a part of this. Um, that helps with the assistance of getting these kids and uh, tending to them. But anyways, uh, that's really it for Gooby. I need to go get stuff done. Um, Gooby's just a very, like, if you look in the background, you'll kind of know the story. Um, it's just, you know, you gotta catch and do some, like, puzzles and stuff. Anyways, bye-bye.